George Lucas supports Bob Iger, magic making is not for novices. Just now, George Lucas ordered the stormtroopers to pursue Nelson Peltz. <laughs> the creator of Star Wars supported Disney CEO Bob Iger in his ongoing proxy battle with activist investor Peltz. We now know Lucas's vote in the upcoming significant shareholder vote that will determine the composition of the company's board of directors. Magic creation is not a task for novices, Lucas declared in a statement provided to IndieWire. When I sold Lucasfilm a little more than 10 years ago, I have always admired Disney's iconic brand and Bob Iger's leadership, so I was thrilled to become a shareholder. I was relieved when Bob recently made a difficult comeback to the company. Nobody is more familiar with Disney, because I have complete faith and confidence in Disney's ability to generate long-term value in Bob's track record of doing so. I continue to be a sizable shareholder. I encourage other shareholders to follow suit as I have cast every vote in my shares for Disney's 12 directors. For roughly $4 billion in 2012, Lucas sold Lucasfilm to Disney Disney for half cash and half stock. Peltz has spent years advocating for a seat and a sea change at the Walt Disney Company. He doesn't think Iger and Co. are optimizing shareholder value, and neither does his friend and former Marvel boss Ike Perlmutter. We would argue that Peltz's try and fund management has a vested interest given that they own 33 million shares, the majority of which are owned by Perlmutter. Peltz and Perlmutter essentially want Disney to drastically reduce spending, beginning with Iger's salary. In order to personally reduce expenses, Peltz desires to become a member of the company's board of directors along with two friends. He most likely already has the for sale sign prepared for Cinderella's castle's front lawn.